IBKey, through the IBKR mobile app, provides investors with a secure, second-factor authentication when logging into their trading account from any platform. In this lesson, we will discuss how to configure IBKey, as well as how to use IBKey for authentication when logging in. To activate IBKey for two-factor authentication, open the IBKR mobile app and from the login screen, tap Register Two-Factor. To link the app with a specific user, the investor can enter a session ID or their account credentials. If the investor is logged in to another platform, such as Client Portal, they can enter the session ID or QR code provided and then set a PIN. In this video, we will walk through configuring IBKey by entering account credentials. To activate using account credentials, the investor taps account credentials, enters their username and password for their interactive broker's account, and taps continue. The phone number listed on the account will be displayed on the next page. The investor can review to ensure the phone number displayed is their accurate mobile number or add a mobile number and then taps Get Activation Code. An SMS message will be sent to the investor's mobile phone with an activation code. Once received, enter the code sent via SMS on the app in the Activation Code field. In the PIN field, the investor will create a unique PIN to operate the app. Please note that the PIN must be at least four and up to six numbers. Re-enter the PIN and tap Activate. The investor will see a screen showing that activation was successful. Once IBKey has been activated, investors can use it to securely log in to Client Portal, Trader Workstation, and manage their IB Debit MasterCard. To use IBKey with Client Portal or Trader Workstation, the investor will first enter their username and password credentials. In this example, the investor will log in to the Client Portal. Once the username and password has been entered, a screen will be displayed that says, open the IBKR notification on your phone, and the investor will receive a push notification on their phone. The investor taps the notification on their phone and an IB key screen will pop up asking if they would like to approve the sign-in. Tap approve and IB key will require biometric credentials, security pin or pattern to complete the authentication. If authentication succeeds, the login process automatically continues. If the investor did not receive the notification, they can select resend notification and the push notification will be resent to their device. Alternatively, they can choose login with QR code. A QR code will appear on the screen, which the investor will scan using the camera app on their device that IB key is configured on. Once scanned, the IBKR mobile app will populate and the investor can select approve to authenticate. From the Login with QR code screen, the investor can select Login with Challenge Response. This will generate the challenge code and display the response box. Next, on the IBKR mobile app, select IBKey Authentication from the bottom of the login page. On the next page, the investor will enter their PIN and, in the Challenge Entry field, enter the second factor authentication challenge code displayed on their computer screen. Tap Generate Response and a response string will be displayed on the phone, which can then be entered in the Text Entry field on the computer. If authentication succeeds, the login process automatically continues. If investors have purchased a new phone or reinstalled the IBKR mobile app, they can reactivate two-factor authentication using the steps outlined in our user guide.